Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to your monthly Thronebreaker EQ All Bosses video. The first 1.1 boss is going to be Craven with Feet of Energy, Powerful, Stung Once, Twice Shy, Compel Duel, and Stay a While and Listen Nodes. Pretty straightforward boss. I am using my rank 5 APOC. You can do any kind of mutant champion that can shrug, that can give a passive stun. So all of your bishops, your uh, both of your storms, your white mags, all of them work. Alternatively, you can also bring in Kingpin and he will be able to shrug off all the power stings from Stung once twice shy and also take out Craven. Pretty simple. Craven fight, try to push him to an SP2 and you should be good. Chapter 1.2 boss is going to be a thing with foresight on intercept, adaptive, rushdown, ticking time bomb and wavering will with heavy. So you have to knock him down to reduce his ability accuracy. I am just going to use my Ascended Valkyrie and I will be easily able to control all of this fight. Just be careful if you parry twi uh, more than two times and not hit in the block, the ticking time bomb will do some damage to you. So I am just very quickly building up to an SP2, throw that out and do that extra damage in the block. Again you can use your usual thing counters, not a difficult fight, your Falcons, your shang -Chis, your Elsa Bloodstone and King Queen, all of them work. Pretty simple regulation fight, just be careful about ticking time bomb. Chapter 2.1 is going to be a man thing with power snack, enhance abilities, counter strike, knockdown, damage over time and boost buff unstoppable. So make sure that you bring in a champion that is poison immune and nullify immunity will also be great. Because with that, he won't be gaining much power and you should be able to run through the fight easily. Or you can bring somebody like Kingpin who can shrug off debuffs and use it to his own advantage so the poisons and the armor breaks will be removed and I convert it into damage. Something, uh, Somebody that works similarly can be your crossbones as well. But I would say some good counters here will be Overseer for his nullify and poison immunity. Same with Hulk. You can also bring in a wave vision, she could work great here, and also Omega Sentinel. Chapter 2.2 with Beast as the boss brings a very annoying combination of nodes that is going to be right back added and flux dispersal. So with the basic attacks the defender will gain charges that will reduce the damage taken by 5% and at 20 charges they will take 0 damage. So you have to knock them down to remove those dispersal charges to do any kind of damage and then uh, he will go debuff immune for 6 seconds so it gets very annoying in a long fight. Now ideally when I think about the counters you need a champion that doesn't do much of basic attacks and doesn't need a heavy attack as well and you can do the damage. So Valkyrie comes to mind right there. I can just hit in the block and do my damage. I don't need a knockdown so she would be great for it. On the same principles look at looking at the champions that uh, do criticals through block. That can be a ramped up Aegon. That can also be a ramped up Kawas Glaive, you can also use a Massacre, all of them can work. Or another champion that you could use it can be Spider Man Strike Enhance, build up your uh, uh, poise charges, and then you can do damage, knockdown, and go at it again. But for me, the best champion that worked was Valkyrie and also a built up Aegon. Just hit in the block, get that damage in. Even though there's class disadvantage, you are able to take Beast down relatively easily.
and chapter 3.1 has one of the new champions werewolf by nine now he is very annoying with silver solution blood in water energy resistance ebb and flow heavy and special burst lockdown so you are going to get a lot of debuffs on yourself so you especially rupture so you need either champions that are immune to rupture so that is going to be your lady death strike and scorpion scorpion is an ideal counter because he's immune to rupture and he can also apply slow so champions that can apply petrify we will great here because they will reverse the region from werewolf by night you can also use what i am doing use a kingpin or a crossbone so you can shrug off all the debuffs there's quite a lot of them with special burst lockdown and all the ruptures so they can work great for you uh, as again you can also use valkyrie hit in the block get that pierce buff on and you don't need to worry about the unstoppable always push him to an sp2 werewolf that is much easier to evade and there is another node here that is silver solution so you can also use somebody like blade or elsa bloodstone because whenever you will knock down the opponent they will be a petrify and if you use champions with silver tag the petrify will be longer so those are some good options you have to knock him down every now and then to remove the protection just push him to an sp2 that is much easier if you want a much easier time just bring in kingpin and you will just destroy him Chapter 3.1 is going to be a Morbius boss with hard knock life, dot dot dot, tactical retreat, triple threat and calcify. Just be careful, his mediums are going to be unblockable so you need to play around that and with triple threat you will get a lot of debuffs on you. Use those to your advantage, bring a champion like Kingpin and Crossbones and convert all of them to Furies or Rage Sacks and you can kill off Morbius very quickly. You can do the same with Zemo, use his Parify to root and should be able to get through this fight. I have given some more options. All in all, not a little difficult boss if you bring in the right options. So I hope this video helps you guys and if it does, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.